I'm not going to be Mrs. Cruz, for, says Vanessa. Vanessa Kirby, who plays Princess Marguerite in the hit Netflix drama The Crown, has spoken out for the first time to quash ludicrous persistent rumors that she and Tom Cruise are engaged to marry. There's literally zero truth in it, the actress said of the suggestion, which first arose when she began filming Mission. Impossible. Six opposite Cruise. I've been in a relationship for two years. The rumors came out after I'd met Tom, once, in a room full of people. We hadn't started filming, and all of a sudden we're getting married. It's so bizarre. My boyfriend found it hilarious. Ms. Kirby won plaudits for her bullseye portrait of the Queen's sister in the Netflix series The Crown, the first series of which was streamed a year ago. She completed work on her second and last series in the early summer. I was sad to hang up the wig for the last time. She told me. Those episodes will be available from December 8th. The actress believes the Cruz marriage talk took off because her own relationship wasn't public knowledge. She never discussed the rumor with Cruz. I didn't bring it up. And he never mentioned it. I don't think he even knows. The whole thing's ridiculous. Mission Impossible filmmaker Chris McQuarrie cast Vanessa as a baddie after seeing her as the princess. In the season one finale, Margaret's hoped for marriage to divorcee group Captain Peter Townsend has been vetoed by her big sister and she feels lost. Ms. Kirby worked with writer Peter Morgan to chart the princess's unhappiness. We started with her at 17 at her sister's wedding. I just knew I had to set her up as this little girl who was this bright flame and then how did she become the woman in the wheelchair? Kirby's portrait of Margaret is a brilliant exploration of someone who has had the heart broken time and again. In one episode in season two, she breaks down in her bedroom hurling crystal tumblers at the wall as an Ella Fitzgerald track plays in the background. She does this melancholy dance. You rarely saw her on her own, and I always imagined her alone in the house, grieving for her father, her sister preoccupied with her husband and kids and so busy being queen. She would feel redundant, isolated, ostracized. I just imagined these dark nights of the soul rattling around in Clarence's house. But Margaret meets her match in photographer about Dan Anthony Armstrong Jones. She spots him at a wedding, and later collars him at a society soiree. As played by Matthew Good, Armstrong Jones lived life to the full. One scene has him in a threesome with old friends. And when the Queen hosts a party for him and Margaret, she senses that his interactions with female guests aren't as innocent as they appear. Margaret, though, is unfazed and informs a friend, in frank terms, what it is she most enjoys about the Lothario. Ms. Kirby said she's pleased she got to see Margaret falling in love, though she would have liked to stay with the part until the end. It was always going to be the case, though, that another actress would portray the princess in seasons three and four joining Olivia Coleman, who has replaced Foy as Her Majesty, as I revealed last month. Next year, Ms. Kirby returns to the stage in a contemporary version of Strindberg's Miss Julie, which was written by Polly Sinham with Kirby in mind. Called Julie, it will be directed by Carrie Cracknell and is set in the kitchen of a London townhouse. Later this month, Ms. Kirby will host a private screening of two episodes of The Crown for War Child. She studied conflict resolution in South Africa and hopes to become an ambassador for the charity.